If current only takes the path of least resistance, then why would we have parallel feeds, right? We run parallel feeds if we got a really large conductor and it's too heavy and it's hard to work with. A lot of times we'll run smaller conductors that the area of each one of them combined equals the area of the larger conductor. So we will parallel multiple feeds to achieve this. But when we run our grounds, code in 250.122F talks about what we have to do with the grounds in this parallel situation. And it says that we have to run full-sized grounds and run a ground in each one of the conduits. If we chop the ground into smaller parallel feeds, we could run into a situation where we have too much current in one of them so that every single one of the grounds has to be able to handle that fault current. Now, depending on where the fault exists, we could end up having the fault closer to one of the grounds than the other grounds, which means that there's going to be less resistance on that ground than there is on the other, which means more current is gonna flow in that ground than the other. So to account for this, we just make sure to run full-size grounds in each one of the sections of our parallel feed.